Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm reviewing the removable magnetic PEI bed. So we'll do a quick unboxing, and then after that, I'll show you how to set it up on my Ember 3. So let's open this up. Oh, they even give you uh, nozzles. These seems to be the 0 0.4, and I got five of them. That's very nice. This is the bed here, and looks like that's just the packaging, and boom. So this is the smooth version of the bed. Uh, this is the magnetic plate. So let's open this up and show you what's in here. Obviously, it's, um, it's kind of two pieces. One goes on the printer and stick to the original printer bed, and the other one it's the magnetic bed that you can remove. So here are the two pieces. And the first one, we're gonna have to kind of stick to the printer. And the second piece that you can uh, remove on and off. You see here, this will kind of glue onto the original printer bed. And this is the actual bed that we can uh, remove from the printer. It is, it is flexible, so that I like. And uh, I'll show you how to install this on the 3D printer next. Okay, so now we are here. This is my Ender 3. Hopefully you can see, this is my old bed. This is the kind of original Ender 3 bed. I'm removing this, and this is the kind of uh, original plate, right? So first, we're going to clean this up really quick. I think it's pretty clean for me, but I just wanted to make sure that magnetic um, plate stick here very well. So we're going to clean this. And then the next part is, you see this new uh, PEI, PEI uh, bed. It comes as two parts. You're going to separate them. And what we want is we want to stick this here on top of the heated plate. So we'll make sure that it fits well. And then we're just going to stick that up here. Now, I recommend starting by peeling the edge just a little bit. Now, however you want to do this, I'm not, I'm not an expert, so I'm just going to do my best. But if you can do better, then by all means do it. But the way I'm going, to, I'm going to do this is I'm going to have it aligned here first. So I'm going to align these edges. I'm going to use these clips to kind of hold it in place. Okay, so now I have it aligned and I used the old bed clips to kind of hold it in place. I'm going to peel the, the sticking part on this other end and then I'm going to start with this side here and make sure it's still aligned and sits nice and clean. And then I'm going to glue on this edge first. Then as this kind of get hold and glued on, it feels okay. I'm going to move these clips to this side. Now, I have the sticker still kind of halfway. So see, I'm moving these to this side. And now I'm going to try to kind of peel. Let's see if I can get this from under the nozzle. I'm going to start to kind of peel this and kind of go that way. So here, I'm going to try to go slowly. And then Hopefully this makes sense. Now this is bothering me a little bit, so I'm going to try to see if I can get around this like that. And there. Nice and clean. So now I'm just going to make sure this, you know, sticks very well, and then I'm going to try on the new bed. Okay, now this is all done and I removed these clips. Uh, from all around and I made sure all corners and everything is stuck very well so now it's time to try the bed so we'll get the bed and try it on boom 
this thing sticks really well there it is now we just have to kind of peel this love the sound right and there is the new bed now um in another video, I'm going to do a comparison between this bed, the glass bed, and the original default default bed, and which one is best for what type of prints. Now I got the bed installed. Here are a couple more things to kind of remember doing. One is don't forget to get the nozzle and the direct drive up as you do the installation. You probably saw me struggling a little bit here with the edge. Uh, I should have just taken this up and I would have been just fine. Now, don't forget to re-level the printer unless you have a CR touch, which I do. So see, in my case, I do have a CR touch and I don't really need to re-level. However, I'm probably just going to double check everything in case anything moved while I was doing the installation. So generally speaking, you definitely need to re-level unless you have a CR touch. The final piece I want to mention is uh, I did get the company that sold me the bed to agree on give every one of my viewers a 15% discount. So if you're in the market, I will leave a link in the description uh, with a 15% discount. I'm not being paid or anything. Uh, it's up to you, but... I got them to agree to give us a free 15% discount. So the link in the description if you need one. This is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.